National Health Research Institute's researchers have found a potential cancer drug that works by blocking multiple pathways of tumor growth. This candidate has proven effective in treating cancer in animal trials. This September, the drug was transferred to a biotech company for further development. Researchers hope to launch the first phase of human trials as early as next year. Unbalanced diets and the stresses of modern life have caused Taiwan's cancer rates to go up. For 41 years now, cancer has been the leading cause of death. In contrast with other diseases, the development of cancer is affected by a vast variety of mutations. Traditionally, treatments seek to inhibit a single target, limiting their effectiveness in eliminating cancer cells. But the National Health Research Institute has discovered a promising new approach. If you want to take the MRT to Taipei Main Station, you can take the red line, the green line, or the blue line. If we want to kill cancer cells and we want to stop them from reaching Taipei Main Station, we can cut off every line of access. That is the advantage of multi-target treatments. Researchers identified a clinical candidate called DBPR114, a multi-target small molecule inhibitor. It can be administered in small doses and causes fewer side effects. It can block multiple pathways of cancer cell growth, overcoming the limitations of single-target drugs. This candidate has been under development since 2007, and the team has won two awards for its preclinical trial findings. Its investigational new drug application was accepted by the US FDA earlier this year. Clinical trials could start as early as 2022. We found that the research and development of this drug is very complete. It's a multi-target treatment. I think that so far in Taiwan, there are no small molecule multi-target drugs. We are honored to work on this treatment. One of the most common things with cancer is relapse. That's when the treatment no longer has any effect on the patient. We've overcome that, and we can reduce the side effects, because multi-targeted treatments do not require such a high dosage. In recent years, many public figures have passed to cancer. Earlier this month, Taiwan's former envoy to Thailand, Li Ying-yuan, died from ampullary cancer. Colorectal cancer killed actors Zhu Ge Liang and Hugh Lee, as well as former lawmaker Zhu Gao Zheng. Chinese-born British actor Richard Ng died after a battle against liver cancer. The NHRA is teaming up with a biomedical firm in hopes of developing a more effective drug for Taiwan's national scourge.